Hello, my sweet, sweet loves. I am here with part two of my blush declutter. Part one was drugstore, which I just filmed. I will link it below if you guys have not seen it. It is time for high-end blushes. Oh gosh, I feel like this is gonna be more of a collection video, as I said in part one. I don't think I'm getting rid of a lot, so yeah, you're just gonna get to see what I have. But that's okay. Let, just get started, you know what? And let me apologize again for all of this hot messness. Watch part one to find out why this looks the way that it does. Okay, so I'll start with my like stick blushes. I have NARS Anguilla which I love. I'm not a fan of cream blushes, as I said in part one, but the NARS ones, they're good. And Anguilla is, oh, it's so pretty. And then I have Orgasm, which is a classic. My mom wears this. Every time she's here, I swear she puts this on. So if I would get rid of that, she would probably cut my ass. And then I have Laos, Laos, Laos? This one, you know what, oh god, where's my phone? Sorry, let me turn it off. Um, this one I actually do not wear, so I will get rid of this one. I will give that to one of my girlfriends. And then I have the Benefit Benetint, which, do I have a big one? No, I have Posy Tint and I have Lolly Tint. I'm gonna keep Oh gosh, you know what? I'm going to get rid of these two. I'm only going to keep Lolly Tint because, oh God, I feel like maybe I should keep them because sometimes in the summer I do use them. I'm going to keep them. <laughs> almost. We almost got rid of something. And then I have a few of the Tarte stick blushes. I have Awakening. I have Tipsy. And I have Fearless. Oh my gosh, this one's not even opened. And I have Blushing Bride. Um, I actually think with these, I think Awakening might be the only one I've ever used. So I'm going to put these into my kit. I've been doing a little bit more freelance. So sometimes people prefer cream blushes, like if they have really dry skin. So I think I'm going to put these guys into my kit and I'll hang on to Awakening. Just because I want to. Oh, and then I have a little Muse. This came, I think, like in a birch box or something or a boxy charm. It's a really pretty shade. I do want to play with this. It's really, really pretty. And look at the packaging. Oh my God, it's so cute. And it's like baby. Oh, love it. I have two of the Becca Beach Tints. I have Watermelon and Lychee. Lychee? Is that how you say it? I think so. Um, these I'm going to hang on to. I do use these in the summer if I'm going to the pool, but I want to have a little bit of color because they last really well on your face. They're almost like a stain. They don't go greasy or anything like that. So I actually really like these, but I only wear them in the summer. I said that twice. This doesn't belong here, but I'm going to throw it in. The Becca Bronzing Skin Perfector. It probably should go in with my bronzer video, but I already did it, and I don't think I showed this. So I'll just show it to you guys real quick now. This is actually a really cool product because it's like a cream, but as soon as you start to blend it out, it turns into a powder. I could actually use that right now to match up my weird body happenings, but anyway... I really like that. I'm going to keep this out. I want to, oh yeah, I want to do something with that. <gasps> okay. I have three of the Becca, what are these called? The Beach Tint Shimmer Soufflés. I will show you all of them. This one is Guava Moonstone. You guys have seen me use that a ton in the summer. Look how low it is. I'm almost hitting pan, the one finger air quote. Um, these are amazing. I love these things. They are really, really good, and they're still available, I think. And then I have Fig Opal. That's another one that I love. Man, I really did a number on these things. I didn't realize that I used them quite that much. And then this last one is Watermelon Moonstone. Oh my God, I used all of them. I'm so proud of myself. Good job, Nicole. And then I have one of the Josie Marin Coconut Watercolor Cheek Gelays. This one is Pink Escape, and again, I kind of made a little dent in that guy. These types of products, these um, like jelly stains almost, I only ever use in the summer 
but obviously I use them a ton, so those babies are going nowhere. Okay, so now getting into actual blushes. I'm gonna start with palettes. I have to grab them. Okay, I have the Sephora and Pantone Universe Rush Luster Cheek Sweep. This was limited edition. Um, I'm gonna hang on to this only because it was limited edition and I do use this purple shade for an eyeshadow. I'm not the biggest fan of the highlighter even though it's hella pigmented. It just kind of looks like a face powder on me and the blush is really, really pretty. So yeah, keeping that guy. And look at the packaging, it's really, really pretty. And then I have the Balms How About Them Apples. This is a cream blush and lip palette. I think you can do both with these. Um, this is another product I think I'm going to put into my kit because honestly, I don't think I've used it that much. I would use these more for lips than I would for cheeks, but like I said, some people like cream blushes. And again, with the packaging, just, it's so cute. Damn, it's cute. And then I have my NARS Virtual Domination Cheek Palette. I'm going to get rid of this. No, I'm not. I'm just kidding. Um, I freaking love this thing. Love it. The Big Laguna NARS blushes are, I mean, NARS is my favorite high-end brand. This is just, yes, yes. Oh my God. And again, I'm going to repeat myself, but look at the packaging. It's just so pretty. I love good packaging. It really makes me happy. And then I have the NARS blush contour and lip palette, which I just got. And I have been loving this way more than I thought I would. This shade in the center is called Enthralled. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. You guys, we are going to be here for a long time. I have three of the NARS Dual Intensity Blushes. I have Adoration. I think that I'm going to do a video on these. They're a weird little product. I have Fervor. Fervor, that's a weird, weird word, and I have Craving. This is probably my favorite one, and this one I use more as like a bronzer and a highlight. I don't know yet how I feel about the blushes. Um, I'm trying. I'm trying to love them. Oh, these are really pretty. I've showed these a bunch, but the MAC Isabel Toledo blushes. I have Azalea Blossom and... I have Ripe Peach. Oh my God, you guys. I love these blushes. Hey, stay up. They are amazing. I love that the pigmentation is low on them because you can just really go in and it just looks so natural. If you see these anywhere, like if you would see them on Amazon, they're good. I wish I would have gotten Kindergarten Red. That was the other one, but I didn't. Oh man. I know, it's never enough. Just be happy. I have two Tarte blushes. I got rid of a lot of my Tarte blushes. I gave them to my mom. So I have Celebrated. Yeah, Celebrated. This is the Tartlet one. It has the really cute little packaging. Love. This is one of my favorite blushes ever. I, yes, oh my God, I need a backup. <laughs> and then I have Captivating, which is another favorite. More so in the summer, I wear this. But yeah, Tarte blushes are some of the best ever that you will ever use in your life. And then I have a few from Galactic. I have Milan, which is my favorite one. This is so gorgeous. And I'm waiting for one more package to come in from Galactic, and then I'm gonna film my Galactic video. I know you guys are waiting patiently for that. It is coming. And then I have Florence. This one I just got, so I haven't, I don't think I've worn it at all, but it is so pretty. Galactic is one of my favorite brands. I talk about them all the time. Their products are really good. I guess I'll throw this in. This is from Galactic also. It's the Pearl Base. I wear this as kind of a highlighter blush topper, but this is supposed to be for your eyes. Like you put it on and then you can go over top with glitter or just by itself. But I like to wear it on my cheeks. I know that's probably weird, but it gives the prettiest like highlight. Oh, it's really pretty. So I might as well just throw it in. It's here. And I have two Tarte palettes. I have my, what was this called? Off the cuff cheek palette, I think. This was from two Christmases ago. This is the packaging. 
I would never part with this. I would cut somebody's face off before I would part with this. It is just, it's really, really good. And I have used this thing so much and it looks like I haven't even touched it. Like Tarte blushes, you need the tiniest bit. And then I have the newer one. This one is the Pin Up Girl. This packaging is disgusting. But I mean, they're Tarte blushes, they're great. I love them. I don't use this one nearly as much but I'm gonna keep it for now. If I do ever decide to get rid of this, it will go right to my mama. She would eat this up in a second. Okay, I have a few NARS blushes. So I have Sin, which is going nowhere. I told you guys this was more of a collection video. Um, I know, don't, don't hate me. This is Luster. This is one of my favorite NARS blushes. Oh, it's so pretty. And we have Deep Throat. These names are just a trip. This is another favorite. That's like a cult classic. And then I have the Orgasm Laguna little duo. Actually, I think I'm going to get rid of this. I've had this thing forever and it's like really dried up. There's like nothing to it. So there we go. I'm getting rid of that. Good job, Nicole. I have two Kat Von D blushes. Um, I may actually get rid of one of these. I have Love Song, which is hella bright. And what is this guy? Oh my god. This is Pura Vida. Wow. Um, oh, I can't. I just can't. They're such good quality. I don't wear them that much because they are so freaking intense. Yeah, sorry. I have to keep them. I have stress just from thinking about getting rid of blush. I don't want to do it. I have a bunch from the Balm. I have Cabana Boy, which is Gorge. <laughs> I'm not getting rid of any of these. I have Frat Boy. Oh, it's so pretty. They're so, so, so pretty. And I have the Instain Blush in, what is this called? Lace. That thing is freaking bright. You know what? Maybe I'll get rid of this. I never, ever wear this. I will get rid of that. See, I am making progress. And then I have Hot Mama which is really, really pretty. I love super light blushes. I prefer them over really pigmented ones. Oh, this isn't a blush, but Sexy Mama. This is just one of the Balm's translucent powders. I just keep it with my blushes because they're like the same shape. And my Benefit Boxed Blushes, again, I'm not getting rid of any of them because Benefit's Boxed Blushes are freaking incredible. Hervana. Probably my favorite one, this and Coralista. I know you guys are like, come on, bitch, get rid of something. This one is 10. It's kind of weird. And you know what? Maybe, you know what? I'm going to get rid of this. Yeah, I will get rid of this one. I haven't touched it in probably 10 years. And then Coralista, another favorite, such a pretty peach. If you guys don't own any of Benefit's box blushes, they're really, really good. This is Bella Bamba. Oh, yeah. I just love looking at them. And then I just got this one. This is Dallas. It's a really pretty shade. I told you guys in a recent video that I'm getting more into these shades, like these mauve natural, like terracotta shades. Yeah, I've been loving Dallas. And then I have my Too Faced Sweethearts blush in Candy Glow another favorite of mine. It's so shimmery and pretty and this packaging is just so adorable. I want to get more of these. Ulta just had them for 15 bucks. I don't know why I didn't order more. I have no idea. I have one Clinique blush pop. This is Berry Pop. Berry Pop. Okay, I'm not getting rid of her. I am not. You guys know I love this blush. I don't want to get rid of blush. Don't make me. Oh, but I am going to get rid of one of these. The Bare Minerals Loose Blushes, I don't know what they're called, but Vintage Peach and then Secret. Um, yeah, these are kind of messy and I never ever use them. So I may get rid of one of these, um, probably Secret. I have to think about it, but I may get rid of one or both because I never ever use them. So hey, that's good, right? This is the Napoleon Purtis Ultimate Contour Palette. 
This I just got. They sent this to me not too long ago. Haven't even really had a chance to play with it. So you guys know the drill. And then I have two of the um, Cover Effects Bronze Effects blushes. This one is Golden Peach. I don't think I ever even wore this. These were gifts from a friend of mine. And then this one is Pink Topaz. Yes, you heard it right. Pink mother freaking Topaz. Look how pretty that is. I'm keeping this out and putting it in my little drawer of things to wear for the week because that that is freaking gorgeous. Why have I not ever worn that? That is like so my color. And it's Pink Topaz. Hell to the yes. I guess we could include this with blushes. My Becca... Um, blushed Copper Shimmering Skin Perfector. I actually have this on today as my blush. I just did very like natural, natural. You know what I mean. Like I didn't do a lot, but I may kind of have a lot on. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. This is gorgeous. It is so pigmented. This is one of the most pigmented products I have ever seen. Like you just touch your brush to it and just be careful if you get this be careful because I had to blend out like crazy but I love it I mean it's gorgeous so yeah and look at the packaging we're talking more about packaging than we are the actual blushes but I love packaging good packaging it works if the packaging is bad I will not buy the product well, I lie. I'll buy it either way, but you know. I have the Makeup Forever Cream Blush in 335 Second Skin Cream Blush. 335. This was given to me by a lovely subscriber, so I would never, ever get rid of it. Even though I don't wear it that much, if I do wear this, I wear it on my lips, which might sound weird, but it's a really nice consistency, and it just, like, it blends out really nice. It does look pretty on the old lips so yeah I would never never get rid of this I love gifts from my subbies wait that sounds really bad you know what I mean oh you guys I do have MAC blushes I know some of you are gonna ask me I depotted all of them I, th I mean I have like 12 I don't have that many but I don't know where my Z palette is I think it might be downstairs because I was I was playing with my mom's face the other day that sounds so bad. Um, so I do have, let's say, 12 MAC blushes. I'm sorry I don't have them to show to you, but I do have them. Well Dressed is my favorite one, and I have it in one of my Z palettes. See, I just have too much crap, you guys. Hang on, I'll find it. I have it in this little Z palette. I showed this in part one. These are all L'Oreal right here, the little ones. And then this is MAC, this is Smashbox um, Soft Lights Prism, I think it's called. This is a, what is that? Oh, this is L'Oreal Tender Rose. And then this is a Sigma blush. I don't know what it's called. Flamingo. Oh no, it's not Sigma, I lied, it's Sonia Kashuk. I'm just making a mess of myself. <laughs> anyway. I wanted to explain to you guys about the MAC blushes because I know I'll get a lot of questions. Oh, and then I forgot to show this to you guys. My Josie Marin um, Argan Stick. I don't know what it's called. Argan Color Stick in Coral. This one I am getting rid of. I don't wear it. It just takes up way too much space. So yeah, another one that I'm getting rid of. See, you guys doubted me. Maybe I just doubted myself. Um, but I think that that is everything. I feel like I'm missing something revolutionary, but I can't remember what. No, that's it. So thank you guys for watching. Um, like I said, part one will be linked down below. It's all drugstore. I am feeling so good about decluttering. I think all we have to do yet is foundation, lipsticks, which that's going to be like a six and a half hour video. Um, what else do I have to do? Like powders and things like that. But we are getting there. We are really getting there. Oh, and eyeshadows. Did I do eyeshadows? Oh God, that's going to be another long one. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm going to try to get a video up every day this week. So yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow with a new one. Mwah. Bye.
Hey, I'm totally cheating. It's like eight hours later, but I just realized when I was doing close-ups that I forgot to show you guys these two new by Terry blushes that I got for Easter and I can't let them pass by because they are so beautiful. So excuse me, my mess, everything. I was just like editing and doing close-ups. So this first one is sexy pink. Look at this packaging. I mean, it is fancy. You guys, these are so gorgeous. I haven't tried them yet, but they just like ooze luxury. So pretty. And then this one is Bohemian Flirt. I mean, this packaging is like heavy. You could kill someone with this packaging. So, it's like quilted, oh my gosh. So, that's it, I just wanted to pop in and show these to you guys. Um, I know a lot of you said you were curious about By Terry blushes because they are very, very pricey. So, I will definitely keep you guys updated if they're good, if they're bad, if they are worth the investment. So, yes, okay, bye. And that would, Regroup, just regroup. Your skin looks so good today. <laughs> I can't stop looking at my skin. There are just days where certain body parts or face parts look better than others. Today my skin just looks really good, right? Is that like horn tooting? <coughs> nah. Oh, I love it so much though. <gasps> Don't make me do it. It's a good day. I have a good day. I have the Makeup Forever cream, but wait. <laughs> I feel like that wasn't as long and painful as I thought it was gonna be. Not so bad, Tony, not so bad, girl. Your inner corner is fueling my fire. That, you know what that is. Do you guys know? Steal a kitten, right there. Shut up. Oh my God, it's so bright. I mean, it just brings me so much happiness. Yay for bright inner corners and big butts. I like big butts and I cannot love. If you guys wanna know what my most recent addiction is, bananas with Nutella. Like, I just take the banana and scoop out a big scoop of Nutella and just plop in one, take a bite, more Nutella. It's, it's bad, but it's so good. So good. You have to try it. And think of me the whole time. You're choking down that banana. That was not supposed to sound the way that it did. Why does everything you say sound really, really vulgar? I can't help it. <laughs> this lip combo is giving me life. It is Milani Matte Blissful, right there, with Bare All from Maybelline. These two equals this equals me feeding someone their own tongue. Oh my god. It's just like, when you have it on, it, it, you just like, you want to skin a cat. I do have that somewhere. I don't know where. Look at that handsome boy. Mommy loves you so much, baby. Oh, you're just so handsome. I just want to kiss your face off. Yeah, he's so good looking. Oh, I love you, baby. He's such a handsome little devil. Look at him. Oh, yeah, very tired. You're making your debut on camera? No, you're on camera every day, handsome boy. Oh, my God, he's starting to shiver. He's like, I don't know what the hell is going on. Why is she talking to me? You guys, there is a fly. Oh my god, it's on my tripod. I'm about to go ham sandwich on a bitch. Where did the... Today is the first warm day. I'm not even joking. Shit's about to get funk nasty up in here. Suck on that, biz. I got it. I got it. Do you see it? Right there, you little bastard. This. Get used to it, because you're going to be seeing a lot of it. Where the F did that floor come from? I don't even have my windows open! I'm not ready for this. Oh, flies, I hate them so bad! It's not a good day when there's a fly in your room. Oh, who am I kidding? It's a good day! 